Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm sitting in my garden and <laughs> crossing my fingers because there's a road and I'm just hoping there won't be so many cars are passing by. But yes, finally I finished uh, painting the house. We finished painting the house. We did something that is a little bit like ambitious. We went with a home that's almost, um, I don't know, it's more than... 50 years old it's actually more than that it is quite an old house that we picked when we decided to buy like a freestanding home and it was quite an ambitious decision but to be honest when we saw the house we loved it and we kind of had an idea of the things that we wanted to do to it and 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 so So one of the main things that was quite hideous about this property was actually the exterior of the house. I want to honestly give a big shout out to Dennis because he really believes in me and my eye, my visions and all these design the home design ideas that I carry. So going back to the color of the house, the house was yellow. And this is a Spanish type of home with arched windows, which oh, I love with all my heart. I really love the windows. I love the doors and I just love the structure of the home. So what I decided to do, obviously, that was like the first big project that I was going to tackle to paint the house. But guys, I did not anticipate the coast hear me out i did not really think about the cost the size of the property and the like small things like the metal bars the gates that are, are like around the house the gutters all these little additions the cottage behind and all the other like metal work you know and like coverings that are surrounding the house i did not think about that so much that i went around looking for coats you know to paint the house and also paint the wall around because the wall as well was like yellow and i got the shock of my I got the absolute shock of my life like me and Dennis were literally just looking at each other and thinking like what have we done the guys who actually painted our house are from splash coat uh, paintings and it's a black owned company they are so freaking amazing it took us in total two weeks to paint the whole house the exterior and that was after the guys the way guys who actually messed up my interior painting and i halted the project because i was crying <laughs> <laughs> because also guys i'm literally like freaking heavily pregnant and trying to do like house renovations which i don't mind really but sometimes hormones can take over so in total to paint the whole house we spent total we ended up spending 64,000 rand and this was inclusive of the exterior of the windows the walls there's so many gutters that are around the house the roof was also included in this court as well as the perimeter wall that surrounds the house as well as the cottage that is in this property and other roof structures that are around our home
so these guys honestly made the process so smooth for us there was always an update if there was a little bit of a delay and a bong actually actually came to the house the first time when he was giving me a consultation and he gave me a sample of different paints to look at and to choose and you know just like decide what was gonna work and what was wasn't gonna work initially I actually really wanted the roof of the house and the windows to be like black 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 like uh, how I've done the interior of the of the windows and he advised me against it and he actually t we actually t tested the black as well and it didn't look nice at all so we ended up settling for like a super dark dark like navy blue when you look at it from like far off it actually looks like black and it just works as well with the white that we chose for the exterior of the house i don't know what you guys think about it like do you guys feel like it looks much better now now that uh, we have changed the color of the of the house and i also really just feel like it has given so much like light to the yard the yard doesn't look and feel a uh, super dull even the perimeter of the house everything like just like comes together now the only thing that is left over that we haven't done are the pot plants that you guys see which are sitting in front of the the property I, I still haven't decided exactly what I actually want to do with them if I want to paint them white or if I want to paint them black I'm still really thinking about it and also the other thing we're going to tackle are actually the plants that you see in front of the house those are going to uh, go and also the paving is going to be changed into something that's a little bit more desirable so yeah so far this is what i have done with the property um it's actually i've done more actually i'm lying um i also had another room changed obviously to a nursery i've done that i'm just waiting for the chair that is the last element i need to put in there so that i can code it complete and i can do the reveal my next big project actually is the kitchen um they've what has been done already is i've gotten the rendition of the kitchen and how it's going to look like and i'm just waiting to pop because <laughs> mm, i'm so scared that if i do pop the project has already started what's going to happen but yes i'm so super excited to get rid of that hideous kitchen <laughs> if you guys don't know i actually have an instagram home styling page called by Vongai underscore home so if you don't follow it please do follow it for more updates and let me know if you guys enjoyed this video and if you would like to see more home kind of content uh, from myself i love you guys for joining me and i will see you next time bye